All right, well, I've got a handful of minutes before I have to go pick the boys up from school. So we're gonna hit this thrift store. I got my mask, I just didn't put it on yet. So this is the shoes. This side is dress shoes. Sometimes you'll find a halfway decent thing here and there. You can see the hat rack and then there's the door. Work boots, what are these? Just dockers. Those are nice work boots. Lee, L-E-I-G-H. I'm not familiar with those. They'd be like four or five bucks. Let's see if I can figure out where they're made. They're in the US. I'll look into them. Oh, that's like the steel type. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look those up. Oh my goodness. Those are air up tempos. 2017s. I don't have insoles, but as cheap as they are here, I'm gonna get them. In really nice shape, those Air Up Tempos would have been a $150 pair of shoes, but the condition that they were in, they're probably more like a $40 pair of shoes. Now this is a vintage windbreaker Adidas, and it's really nice looking on the front, but then it's got a local high school on the back, so I pass it. So I was pretty tempted to get this Asics jacket because it's cool, but there's only nine listed and there's only three sold and they don't sell for very much. So the sell through rate's pretty low and so is the return. So I decided to skip it. So here is the basket where I buy my remotes. Most of the time that is 75 cent remotes and they show up with decent ones every once in a while. Now, I was not too excited when I saw this sitting there. It's a Sanyo DVD combo, but you can see it's $45. And I just checked the comps just for grins and it sells for, it trending price is $50 on that. And here's a old busted TV for $15. Their electronics is are ridiculous in this place. I thought about buying this thing and then I got interrupted with time. So I don't even know that I comped it super well. This toy section is really fun. This rabbit thing, it's obviously vintage, but it's pretty dirty, and I didn't know enough about it to run comps, and it didn't have a date, and so I decided to leave it there. There's those air up tempos. This Mater thing was interesting, but the zippers busted on it, and I couldn't really get a good grasp on what it was, and the color's weird, so I left it. I actually don't think I picked up any toys in this place today. So I'm looking at the toys some more and this thing catches my eye and it looks like it's 90s, but I didn't exactly recognize it. It was only two bucks. I could have got that $6.99 price off of there and I was looking for a date on it. And then I noticed it's Kid Core, which is kind of a dollar store brand. And then it says here, there's a website and I'm like, so it's not very old and it's pretty cheap to start with. And then I did some comps afterwards and it's only like, 12 or 14 dollars if it's in good shape and that box wasn't in good shape and i really i normally pick up some kind of toys here but i really found nothing this time so here i found three of these casey's 34 ounce oh this one's 34 ounce and it's from 1993 and the comps there weren't any exact comps so i'm rolling the comps by here this one's 34 ounce but it's newer um 
And then the next one is like a 12 ounce. And then there was one that I don't think made the video, but it's Caterpillar and it's this same size. And the comps put them anywhere between 14 and $25. So I'm looking through the glassware and I see these cups and there's, a, I think there's four of them. They're 50 cents a piece. And I'm looking to see, cause sometimes you'll find a signature. A lot of times it'll be George Baird and those will have some collectability. I didn't see any on there. There's that other uh, 34 ounce thermos that I think I'll do fairly well with. These, the comps just weren't out there. They're 50 cents a piece and there's only three of them. Sets of four sell for about 15 bucks plus shipping. And so at $1.50, it's not bad, but the, with only three, I imagine I'd hold on to it forever. This is Tupperware and it was $2 and it's really nice looking and I imagine it's probably fairly decent, but I don't know how to look up Tupperware if it doesn't have a number on it and I couldn't find a number for that. So I left it because I didn't really need it. So I'm a little puzzled by this little section right here because I picked this thing up and you'll see me put it in the cart. If you follow the channel, you saw me they sell one of those a couple of weeks ago for $35, just exactly like this. And this one's five bucks and it has all the stuff. And I told you then that the comps were super good and I put it in the cart and then we go back to the cart in a second and it's not there. And I don't know why I didn't get it. I thought I had it. Um, and then around the corner from this section is books, and I stopped recording here. All right, so I already took the air up tempos in. I think those are a 45 plus shipping kind of shoe. I paid $4. Uh, they're in, they're not in great shape, but they are a very desirable shoe. So I paid four bucks. They will sell for some amount, uh, but they're not in, there were two flaws that I didn't notice until I got them at the register. And I'm, I'm, thinking they'll be okay anyway there's a clip in the toe like somebody kicked something and tore the leather a little bit and then the back heel like it looks like it got raked down and moved some of the foam but i obviously i didn't notice them so they were a little they're they're not hugely obvious um casey's cups this one says 93 on it so i think this is the best one um i got four of these for $3.50. I'll probably lot them together. Um, this one was 50 cents because it's smaller. I, you guys did not see because while I was in there, I realized that it was time to leave to go get my kids from school. So I didn't even show you the book section at all. Um, the hardbacks are 50 cents and soft covers are 25 cents. This is Breaking Dawn. You guys know I pick up every Twilight book I have. I find they sell in lots. Either the whole series sells for like 20 bucks, or you can get 10 for two or three, depending on whether they're hardback or soft. And I'll just show you this. The, I just grabbed the stuff and threw it in the back. back. Uh, Stephen King paperbacks, a lot of them. So we'll go over them real quick. The Dawning of the Three. Not familiar. I'm not super familiar with uh, Stephen King. This is Wizard and Glass. Oh, this is Dark Tower number four. Maybe there'll be a bunch of Dark Tower ones. Dark Tower number six. Ooh, I didn't even put, think about that. Uh, Bachman Books, which is when he was writing as Richard Bachman. This is... Oh, there it is. Four early novels by Stephen King when he was using his Richard Bachman pseudonym is what that is. Um, Wasteland, Dark Tower 3. So we're getting a run of Dark Tower books. That's cool. This is Dark Tower 3 also. I hate when I pick up lots like this and end up with doubles, but they'll sell. Um, there was a bunch of these. I know it's not the whole set. Green Mile, maybe it is, maybe I'm close at least. Green Mile soft covers. Four, five, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five. So I don't know if there's six or if there's just five. 
but uh, I do have one, two, three, four, and five of that Dark Crystal set, or Dark Crystal, Green Mile. Um, is this a, is this Cujo? Is that the, the dog? That's a real vintage one. Uh, from the author of Firestarter, Cujo, vintage Stephen King paperback, Salem Lot, newly introduced by the author Stephen King, Salem's Lot. Man, that's whiting out really, really bad. Um, different seasons. There's a bunch. Carrie, soft cover. The Dark Tower, The Gunslinger. I wonder if this is number one in the Dark Tower series. Firestarter, which is his one of his first works and maybe one of his most famous. I mean, it's hard to say what's the most famous Stephen King novel. The Stand. I understand that this one, like I was trying to start looking at comps and I think that one comps pretty high. The Eye of the Dragon. And I paid a quarter a piece for these. Yeah, see, I told you I felt like that was a six-book series. There's the sixth one, The Green Mile. So I do have all six of those. I don't know why I knew that was six books in that children's series. Uh, I'm going to say that's not Dance uh, Macabre. But I don't know how you would pronounce it if you didn't pronounce that word dance. Dance macabre. Bag of bones. And I believe we are done with Stephen King novels. So, I mean, these six children's serial thriller continues. Um, the Green Mile six-part series. So that's 17 uh, in total of... Oh, 17 plus those... Uh, Green Mile ones. Um, and then we got some interesting VHS tapes. No VHS tapes are great. I wonder if I can do this. Now I'm gone. Now I'm near. Now I'm far. It's not going to work. Um, Red Dragoon. And I wouldn't necessarily have picked that one up as a horror all by itself. But guess what else was there? Hannibal. But not, Judah, what's up? But not Silence of the Limbs. Nothing. Nothing. Shag is uh, sealed. I wouldn't necessarily have picked that up. I got one more. The substitute. Failure is not an option. Um, Uh, sealed VHS and then Lord of the Rings Return of the King the two tape uh, Fellowship of the Ring and The Two Towers so that trilogy and this trilogy ow Jurassic Park VHS Trilogy. And I don't know if these are any good or not, but I picked them up because they're a quarter a piece. It's worth it to kind of learn. I mean, I could have comped them, but I didn't. Laura Croft 2 Tomb Raider VHS. But I'm 50 cents in. If I can get $8 shipped. Say hi, Judah. I get $8 shipped for my... Hi. For my 50 cents, I'll still make like four dollars. Stigmata, Dune, 
The lighting on this is terrible. I hope Judah does something funny. This one's gonna be not for sale. That's a uh, invasion of the turtle snatchers. Now this one, I didn't actually look at the cover. Prophecy 2 with uh, Christopher Walken, horror VHS, but it's junk because of the condition. And I always pick up children's, um, Baby Van Gogh and Alvin and the Chipmunks. Camo hat, I think you guys saw me get that. These Lee shoes were not great comps, but I think I'll get like $30 for them. I'll have to clean them up quite a bit, but they're really well made. They are um, steel toes, this protector plate, US made leather work boots. So then they're not totally worn out. So they're, those should do something. Look at that. Is this video upside down now? I bet it is. Um, New Moon, so more Twilight series, and then this thing. So I paid $30, it came to like 29 and change, and I paid $30 for everything because I just wanted to run out of there and get my boys from school as quick as I could. Um, I think that's gonna do it for the video. I just, wow, I'm washed out completely. Judah, oh, then I put it on him. Camera likes him better. <laughs> that's crazy looking. Okay, so uh, I think that's going to do it for the video. Um, thanks for watching. Um, I'll put up some comps on this stuff so you got an idea what I'm what I'm going to get for the stuff. Uh, but that was that was 15 minutes in a thrift store, um, and maybe it was 30 minutes and it should have been 20. Uh, but I got a bunch of good stuff for 30 bucks. Uh, thanks for watching. Come check us out on the next video. Check out Dose Flipping Puppets. Uh, I'll link that in the comments below. Dose means two. Dose means two. <laughs>